Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And today I'm actually here doing a video about going ahead and using the palette a little bit differently than it was intended to be used um, because sometimes trends don't work out for people. And so that's what happened to me and I kind of redid stuff so I thought I'd let you know what I had done. And as far as going ahead and getting started here, let's go ahead and get started with uh, what I have on my face and I'll show you what I've been doing here. And as far as what I started with, it was the L'Oreal Tree Match in C1 and then the L'Oreal uh, Lumi Glotion in 902, I think it's their lightest shade, and the Milani uh, Bronzing Drops in 110. So I went ahead and I mixed all three. That's what I have on as far as my foundation today. I also used the True Match by L'Oreal Concealer, and I have mine in LM. Yeah, my medium. Anyway, so that's the concealer that I have on there today. I did go ahead and use the Essence and this brow tint in um, regular brown. And then as far as what I went ahead and used as the base for the cheeks and on the lips today is going to be the new Wet n Wild. And this one is from uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. This is shock value and it's a lip and cheek color. I have it on both the cheeks and the lips today. And I'm not sure exactly what I did to my packaging. So um, yeah. That was me, um, but it's really cute and really enjoying this formula. And then I also use the Metaglow from Essence as far as on the lips, so that's the way that that worked out. Um, as far as what I use for bronzer today, that would be the MAC in the Light Radiant Rosy. So that's what I have on as far as bronzer. And then what I went ahead and put on top of, yeah, and um, these are the face palettes from NYX. They're the new ones coming out for the holidays, and it's Buttermilk Face Palette. There are two of these. This is a darker palette, and um, they all come with three shades, and they come with two blushes and a bronzer, or three blushes. And this one, I went ahead and topped the blush with this one today, and I um, really like the way that it worked out. I also used the ColourPop, and this is the Flexitarian Highlighter as well, so that's what I have on there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that one's just about gone. And um, then as far as moving to what I did in the eyes today, or on the eyes, I did go ahead and use the L'Oreal Panorama, and then a little bit of the Essence Volume Stylist as well. For So I mix these two mascaras together. Um, I usually go ahead and use a regular mascara and then top it with a tubing mascara to get a little bit more length as far as the lashes go. And then what I did was I'm going ahead and working with this Daylight Palette from Alter Ego a little bit differently. And the Daylight Palette, um, well, most Alter Ego palettes are inspired palettes. So they're inspired, in this case, by Natasha. Natasha Denona's I Need a Nude. And I Need a Nude sort of hit last year, has been really, really popular, and um, is a very neutral color story. And this is actually a dupe of that particular color story. And um, so I had gone ahead and I swatched the original, and you know, I saw that she had. Um, got to see some of the new formulas and they're very twinkly and sparkly um, but they don't have a lot of base to them so they're pretty much a clear base with a bunch of glitter and shimmer and really fun but um, that particular color story and this particular color story just didn't work that well for me um, I just I didn't, the formula is great. 
um, in this one. I haven't tried the original, but in this one, I really like the Alter Ego formula for both the mattes and the shimmers. They do use um, some of the micro glitter, and I actually really like that a lot. And so when I got this palette, the look was easy to do. It worked and everything. I just didn't like the color story on me. So, um, and that's really frustrating because when it's a trend, I mean, first of all, if you want to participate and you, and it just, the color story isn't working for you, you are upset that you can't participate in the trend and you also spent money on a palette and it's just going to sit there and you're not going to use it and everybody has probably had that happen by this point. So what I'm doing with Daylight is I'm going ahead and using all of these really pretty shimmers as toppers for other palettes and it just like I said, it isn't anything to do with uh, the formula or anything here. And I think they actually have some really pretty um, shimmer shades and toppers. And since these tend to not have a lot of base color to them and be more glimmer and sparkle, then you can go ahead and use these as toppers with other palettes. And that's the way that I'm getting away being or that I'm getting away from being frustrated that this palette just really didn't work the way that I wanted it to work. So for uh, what I did today, for example, is I went ahead, I got out the Odin's Eye Jewels and Gems, and what I did was I went ahead and used this really pretty dark rose color and I put it all over my lid. I mean, all over my lid. And then I went ahead and used some of the twinkly shades and some of the shimmer shades from this palette. So again, I'm not using this palette as one and done. I'm only using it for topper shades. And I went ahead and used this as a topper on my lid. And then I went ahead and used this one as a topper uh, right on the brow bone. And um, this one, yeah, uh, from here to here and then here to here. And um, again, I'm using this palette. It's not going to waste. I really like the formula. I really like the shimmer shades. And um, because they don't have a lot of base to them, I can use them as glittery, shimmery toppers uh, in other palettes. And I know that goes against everything that um, the influencer group typically says. But there are some palettes that just aren't going to be one and done palettes for a minority of people. There are palettes that aren't meant for me or aren't made for me, and I get that. Um, but with a palette that has that's such a big trendsetter and you want to be part of it, you can probably find a way to work with it. And so um, I just wanted to go ahead and let people know that there are alternatives, especially if this particular color story doesn't work great for you. Um, I also went ahead and used a gel eyeliner by ColourPop. This is the way that the actual look came out. But um, I know that for the majority of people that I need a nude and this daylight palette, the color stories really work well for them. And that's great. Um, there are a minority of us that it doesn't work really well for. And so there are ways to still participate in the trend without participating uh, using this as a one and done palette. And this is a unique palette that does have some different formulas in it so you can go ahead and use it as a topper palette and I just wanted to kind of let folks know that there are some alternatives even though they aren't necessarily being you know touted by the 
uh, influencer group and that you can go ahead and especially with a palette like this use it differently than it may have been intended to be used and so uh, that's basically my video for today and I hope that you have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye!